hello guys welcome to this channel once again today we're going to be showing you how to make fluffy akara with bean flour i know so many of you have given up on making akara with bean flour simply because your akara ends up looking like bones but just follow these simple steps this morning and you're going to have a wonderful and fluffy akara everything we need simple ingredients we have our bean flour there already we have our mixing bowl we have our already blended pepper mix we have our onion we have our salt and crayfish even though the crayfish is optional and we have our warm water remember warm water not room temperature water and not cold water so let's get to it we we'll start by putting our flour into the mixing bowl we're going to be using one and a half cup of flour today all right so we put that in and then after putting that that's when we're going to get to the warm water all right so let's just watch that okay so the next thing to do now is to put the warm water so we're mixing now the warm water i prefer to add it little by little you know to avoid having a very watery consistency you add the water then uh, you mix to check the consistency before you add again all right so you turn this you can actually use um, uh, a wix to make this faster all right so you see the consistency is not up to what i want so which means i'm going to be adding a little more of the water you can watch that and you must mix it thoroughly to make sure that there's no lump all right so you just mix and mix and mix and mix okay so there's still lump all right as you can see we don't have lumps again so i think we're good to go to the next step so the next thing we're going to do is to add in our pepper mix all right it's already blended of course you add to your taste if you like it hot hot then you add more pepper all right then we add in our onion I chopped it small small because of the kids okay then um, we add our salt all right you spice to your taste anyways um, we add a little of the crayfish the crayfish is actually optional like I said then you mix You know, to get your akara very fluffy, you have to mix it very well. So, I think it's ready now. So, we're going to allow it to set for 30 minutes before we actually go ahead to fry. So, we cover and allow it to set. It's up to 30 minutes now. Let's check. I think it's actually okay, but it looks as though we have little knots. All right, I'm actually supposed to mix a little, but to save my time, I think I'll prefer to use the hand mix so that I can be fast. So I need to use the hand mix so to give me the consistency I want. All right, all right, so let's see how it goes. The hand mix is actually. Oh, Alright, so but if you don't have the hand mix, like I said, the only is you have to mix it for a longer time to get the consistency you want. Alright, I think we're actually good to go. We don't have lumps anymore. So it's time to go fry and enjoy our fluffy apparel. Alright, so we're good to go. So it's time to test the oil anyways, it doesn't have to be too hot, if it's too hot your akara will burn and if it's too cold then it's not going to be fine but you will know when the oil, when the uh, butter floats so obviously the, our oil is ready so um, the one I put is floating so it's time to go ahead and fry so we just use a spoon 
scoop that. If you have an ice cream scoop, um, that would be very perfect for this. All right, so you just scoop and put in. All right, and put. But you're going to be turning them at intervals so that they don't burn. All right. So I think that's enough. So let's watch that. Um, let's see. We can use a skewers or we can choose to use a fork to do that. As it goes, you turn. It's not ready yet. All right. So you turn. So it gets to uh, the color you want, all right? Some people will actually take it out at this point, but I want it a little bit more brown. So let me allow it a little. Okay. So I think it's brown enough now. So if you want yours more brown than that, you can actually do that. Um, all right, so you can see how it's looking already. Then we can go ahead and fry the rest. So I think you can see that now. So we we'll just keep turning to the consistency we want. All right. So I think we are almost there. Give it a, just one minute more, then we get what we want. Uh, I think we're good to go. So we can actually take that off. Uh, you can see how nice it's looking. It's obviously, it's going to be very yummy. Wow. 